welcome to my channel i'm kim a fairly average mum and today i've got a georgia asda sale haul with a try on so let's get cracking hi so if you didn't see my b m haul two days ago Okay, I didn't end up going to my daughter's for Christmas because, um, which I was planning to do because her partner tested positive for the illness. And I just thought, because I've got to have some sort of investigations in January, I thought um, I didn't risk it, you know. So anyway, when she phoned me, it was about, I don't know, three o'clock, four o'clock-ish on uh, Christmas Eve. I thought, I've got the food in, right? <laughs> okay. So I pegged it to the Asda. I mean, the poor lass, she were absolutely mortified that she were having to tell me. I think she was looking forward to me going. I was certainly looking forward to going. I kept saying, oh, it's fine, pet. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, so I ended up going to the Asda really quickly, got a taxi along there, picked up a load of stuff for my Christmas dinner. While I were there, they had already whacked a load of stuff into the um, Georgia Asda sale. Is it still Georgia Asda? I never know. But anyway, Asda clothing um, sale. So at this point, you'll bear in mind, right? So I don't drink a lot. I'd had a sherry, right? And when I say a sherry, it might have been a double sherry, right? Okay, so I go to the Georgia Asda and I'm going round. Happy as Larry, I'm all right, honestly. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you know. By that point, I've not been called in to work. And one of the girls had put in the group chat, that's a wrap, so I took it. I'm not going to be called in to work. So I'd cracked open this bottle of sherry that I bought myself and I go around the Asda, Right, okay, I've cut right round the Asda. So this bag has been sitting here since I went and did this. I've never unpacked it, no idea what's in it. Goodness knows what I've bought. Literally, goodness knows what I've bought. Because I'm telling you, I can't remember a thing that I bought. Okay, I know there's a pair of jeans because they're on the top of the bag. Other than that, no clue. Don't know what sizes I bought. Don't know if I were even checking that. Right. Making me sound like a right lush. But it was Christmas Eve, right? Okay. I've, I, I'm, and I'm finally out of the sort of idea that I might have to go into work. So I thought, yeah, yeah, start celebrating. Okay. So I better grab this bag. <laughs> Let's have a look together what I bought. Goodness me, it could be anything right this is going to be as much a surprise to me as it is to you i can guarantee it all right let me put my gigs on this is the bag it's full right okay so everything i think is sale right put that down there try not to drop it kim all right so first up i've bought this pair of jeans oh they're in a 14 good i've got the right size for those of you that don't know all right i'm five foot eight i'm a 12 on the top and I'm a 14 on the bottom, more or less. I'm back on my slimming, or I will be once the new year comes, right? So hopefully I will eventually this year get down to the 12 that I used to be before all this took place, you know, in the world. But anyway, oh, they're not even fastened. Fasten them, Kim. Right, so they look like they're a pair of rigid jeans. Have they got any rips? Please don't have any rips. No, they haven't, right. They look like they've got quite a wide leg. Are they high-waisted? Please let them be high-waisted. Because if they cut lower down, it's like I've drawn a line under my fattest bit. You know what I mean? Legs don't look that long. Look like they might be cropped a bit. And they've got an unfinished seam at the bottom. Slightly bleachy wash. You know, what used to be called stone wash, wasn't it? Anyway, these it says fashion fit, high-waisted, straight. They're reduced from £18 to £9. We'll see whether I can fit into them following the Christmas um, excess. You know what I mean? Right, so that's the first thing. Then what have I bought here? Okay, all right, I remember this. This is a pair of pyjama bottoms. Now, I know I bought these in an oversized because it was literally the only size they had. So I bought these in a 16, 18 because I don't like getting into bed and everything being like clung to me. I like things to be oversized so I can like feel relaxed in bed. I don't tend to wear pyjamas a lot. But sometimes it's freezing cold and I, I do appreciate pyjamas. They didn't have the pyjama top for these. but So they are a size 16, 18. Do they draw up? 
at the front. No, do the eckers like they might fall down on me? You know what I mean? I might have to put like a, a nappy pin inside here to keep them up. We'll see what they look like. What have they got on them? They've got little dogs and all sorts of stuff on those. They'll be all right. They'll be okay. Like I say, 16 to 18, reduced from £10 to a fiver. I think I bought a couple of pyjama tops as well that don't match, but nobody's going to see me. You know what I mean? So, um, which is a sad state of affairs, but it's the truth. Okay, or is it a sad state of affairs? Given my love life in the past, it's probably, a you know, for the best. Right, okay, is this a pyjama top that I bought? Yes, it is. This will reduce from £6 to £3. What size did I buy it in? A 12 to 14. So this is more my size. Okay, it's in this minty green, long-sleeved, creased up to eye heaven since I've had it in the bag. It's got like uh, long sleeves with a bit of a cuff round the bottom and then three buttons at the front. Like I say, it's in this minty green. So that was £3. I suspect that'll be all right. I don't care whether it even goes with us. Do you know what I mean? I'll still wear it. Sure, I bought another one. Is this the other pyjama top that I bought? Yes, it is. Calm and cosy. This will reduce from £12.50 to £6. I bought this in a 12 to 14. So this is the other pyjama top. I don't know why I felt the necessity to buy two pyjama tops since I've only got one set of pyjama bottoms. But anyway, you know, past Kim had some sort of um, idea of that. I've no clue. This has got a long sleeve, a v-neck and just little stars all over it. It's in a pink. What colour are the stars? Navy blue. Okay. Quite like that one. I think I prefer that to the minty green one, to be honest, because it looks a bit more oversized and relaxed. Slightly longer at the back than the front. So that is a pyjama top. Okay. Let me show you them together. Actually, they're not too bad. The minty green would go with that because it's got green in it. The pink will go with it because it's got pink in it. So actually, you know, to say I'd had a, a sherry, that's actually not too bad. Quite like them together. Then what did I buy? I bought a shirt. This is creased up and all because it's been in bag for how long? I bought it in a size 10. <laughs> this might not even go on. Oh, I don't know though. It does look like it might fit. It's got a long sleeve. It's got like this pretty button on the at the bottom. And then down the front as well. It's collared. And then buttons all the way down the front. The back's longer and it's slightly gathered on at the back. So, like I say, I bought this in a size 10. It will reduce from uh, £14 to £7. That might be all right. You know that I do like a black shirt. So, yeah, nice. I quite like that one. Well done, past Kim. Then what's this one? Is this another pyjama top? You're having a laugh, Kim. You're having a laugh. Is it a pyjama top? It looks like suspicious like it might be. Mix and match, reduced to £3 from £7. Well, that's not going to go with others, the, the, the pyjama bottoms. It's got a short sleeve with a frill round it. It's in this, is it black? Black with this pink jazzy pattern all over it. Just straight down in the body and a scoop neck at the front. I'm sure that's supposed to be pyjamas, you know. If anybody knows if that's supposed to be pyjamas, will you let me know? Because it looks not suspicious like it might be. Um, the fabric in this sort of viscosey uh, jersey and the little frill um, sleeve make me think it might be pyjamas, but it doesn't say on it that it's pyjamas. Do I say it? No, it doesn't. Mm, I don't know what I've bought there, guys. <laughs> right. I think that might be all right with the black cardio over the top, you know, in this sort of fashion, um, as a top. But I don't want to go out in it if it's pyjamas, do you know what I mean? So if anybody knows whether that is pyjamas, will you let me know, please? That would be really helpful. Then what else did I buy? What size is this? Oh, I bought this in my own size. That's good, isn't it? This was I bought in a size 12 and it will reduce from uh, £10 to £5. So this looks like it might be an actual top. All right, it's in this burgundy colour. Now, this colour always reminds me of my youngest daughter, Rose. Always. She really suits sort of burgundies. 
So it looks like it's a um, sort of to the elbow sleeve. I don't know what you'd call that. Not short sleeve, not three quarters. It's got elastic round the, the bottom of the sleeve, a frill going over the top of the sleeve. And then it's sort of the bodice has got a round neck and it's gathered on lower down with this frill going all the way around. Sort of like a trapeze hem, is that what they call it? Never sure. But anyway, um, yeah, it's okay. It looks vaguely see-through though, you know what I mean? On the, where the stripes are, I don't know if you can see that, but when I'm holding it up, that looks a bit, can you see? It looks a bit see-through. That might be a bit risky for me, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I might have to wear a vest under it. But anyway, that's that one. At least I bought it in my size. What else did I buy? What on earth is this? Okay, don't remember this one at all. It looks really nice though. Bought it in a 10, may not go on. So this will reduce from 14 pound to seven, also in burgundy. And it's got all this broad angle frill detail going down the front of the V-neck. And then it's also, it's gathered on onto an elastic bit. That might be a bit snug for me that, oh, I don't know, that might fit. It's got short sleeves with a bit of elastic round them. And the back has also got this higher neck with the broad angler going around it in the burgundy colour. If that fits me, that might be nice. It, I might look a dog's dinner in it, but it might be all right on me that. Quite like it, you know, quite like the look of it. Yeah, I can see why I picked that one up. So what else have I got in here? This looks like a jumper. Is it a jumper or a cardi? It's a jumper. This will reduce from £16 to £8. I bought it in an 8 to 10. No chance. No chance is that going on. Okay, it's in a brown colour with like pinky pattern all over it. And it's got a, a high neck. It's, it is just a knitted jumper with this pattern all over it. I don't even know what the pattern's supposed to be. Is it just a random pattern? Because this one looks suspiciously like a whale. Right, that one with a tail. And then there's other ones that look like, might be a pumpkin or something. I don't know. It's got a long sleeve, slightly wider sleeve. If that goes on, I'll be well impressed with myself that an eight to 10 will go on. Unless it's supposed to be massively oversized. But anyway, bought that one. Yeah, I'm less hopeful for that one. I don't think that might even fit me. What else have I got in here? And it keeps on going. Right, what's these? Pair of trousers. Bought these in a 12. These may not fit. No. Nope. Oh, I don't know. They've got a bit of stretch. So these are a navy blue. Look like chino -y effect. Um, trouser. Oh, my goodness. They've got an elasticated cuff at the bottom. That's not my style at all. I neglected to see that bit when I wore me... Um, you know, slightly inebriated state. But anyway, they are navy blue. Na is that a sort of a gunmetal uh, grey button on them? It's a real zip, real pockets. The real pockets at the back. No, fake pockets at the back, real pockets at the front. They've got a wider leg at the top and then go down to this cuff detail on the hem. Yeah, reduced from £16 to £6. Like I say, I bought them in a 12 I'm not sure they'll even go around me, you know. I'm really not confident about that. I like that they've got real belt loops, you know, but I'm really not confident that they'll go on me. And if they do, whether that cuff bit at the bottom of the leg might not be my kind of thing. Anyway, what else have I got in here? Oh, I've got a couple more things. I've only gone and bought the same pair of trousers. Oh, no, they're not the same pair of trousers. These were reduced from £15 to £7. Bought these in a 14. Well, at least these might stand a chance of fitting me. They've got an elasticated waist. They're in this sort of stone colour. Have they got any pockets on? No pockets. Looks like they're very high-waisted. And then they've got a wide leg, but they've also got a cuff bit at the bottom. At least I think they're going to fit me. You know, I do think they'll fit me. £7 for those. I just bought whatever I could see, do you know what I mean? And at the time, I don't think my skills of um, uh, sort of analysis were that grand. 
Right, what's the last thing in here? What have I bought? Bought a pair of green trousers. Oh my goodness, look how creased these are from being in bag. Right, all right, they have got what looked like a high waist. Um, what size did I buy them in? Bought these in a 14, they were reduced from 16 pounds to seven pounds. They've got like a belt going around with this fake tortoise shell buckle on it and the green. And then they've got a long wide leg. They've got any stitching going down the front, no stitching. Real sort of pockets on the front. Are they fake pockets at the back? Fake pockets at the back. So yeah, they might fit me, you know. It might be all right, we'll see. What's the fastening at the front? Oh, I hate that fastening. You know that fastening where it's like a metal bit that goes in a slot? I just find that comes undone from time to time now. Maybe it's because all my weight's around my middle, but anyway, it's got a real zip and that little hook and eye type fasten at the front and then a button as well. So yeah, they may be all right. I'm less optimistic about the trousers, I'll be honest about it. I thought the jeans were bad because I'm I'm honestly not sure they'll go around the middle because there's literally no giving them. But I shall try these on and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so I thought I'd start with the pyjamas, right? <laughs> these are falling down on me, somewhat chronic. I mean, they'd be all right. I'd be able to sit in them, you know what I mean? And I quite like the little top. They don't go together. Um, but to say it was an inebriated shopping trip, um, I'm just going to try and... I don't even know what this is about. I'm not overly fond on this. Just let me show you what I mean. Look, it's just these things that are sort of tied. Try and tie them in a bow, make them look a bit more presentable. Um, I don't know whether that's doing anything, but um, they're certainly going to be cosy and comfortable because they are huge and um, yeah, they're not going to be restrictive at all. Nice little pair of pyjamas at a bargain price, I think. Um, maybe washing me out significantly. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy to go with these. I'll try the other pyjama top on that I know for certain is a pyjama top um, and I'm going to try the top that I, I'm not sure whether it's a pyjama top with the jeans I think but anyway these are fine I'd be pulling them up all the time every time I went to go get a brew but they're all right you know they are all right for a pair of pyjamas that nobody is going to see me in apart from you guys um, they're all right I'm going with these these are okay all right, I'll swap the top. Okay, this top is a lot more snug. It's not restrictive, it is okay. Um, and probably matches the pyjama bottoms a whole lot better than the other one. I'll just take the six pound sticker off it. Um, yeah, it's okay. You know, it's a bargain price. Certainly gonna keep me warm and cozy in the winter. So not too worried about this either. Quite like the neckline. Not overly fond of the fact, fact that it's around here, but like I say, it's for bed. So it's not, I'm not going to be worried about that. Put the sticker in my pocket. And um, yeah, I'm not going to be, you know, bothered about it. If I had to choose between the two, I think I'd, even though this goes better with these in colour, I'd probably go for the other top just because it's a bit more relaxed. Whereas this one, I feel, um, you know, is maybe drawing attention to my worst bit. So, um, but I'd be in bed. <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? Let's show you the back. Yeah. So, um, out of the two, prefer the pink top. May keep the pink one over this one because I don't know why I bought two tops, one pair of bottoms. You know, I've no clue about that. That's um, a question for past Kim not present Kim so um yeah I'll probably keep the pink one over this one but let me know what you think please I don't mind them for bargain prices okay so I'm going to try some of the outerwear okay okay I probably won't put this outfit together because this top with these buttons is a bit glitzy for this bottom and I'm aware now looking on the camera it looks a bit see-through the top I like a lot 
um, it fits me absolutely fine. Um, yeah, no problem at all with the top. Could see me wearing this with a pair of skinny jeans. May leave it, you know, sort of untucked because I quite like the fact that the back is longer than the front. Doesn't really go with these trousers, but I've been struggling to put colours together um, out of the assortment or range of nonsense that I bought. But I actually quite like this blouse. I don't think this is bad at all. It's a nice quality blouse for the price i've paid for it really love these little buttons down it and on here love those think they're really pretty the trousers i would probably wear with a t-shirt rather than this but i actually really like the trousers as well you know um they fit me perfectly They've, i've got a bit of room in them well i've got quite a bit of room in them let's be honest about it but they're not snug at all they fit me fine the length is perfect could see me wearing these pair of chunky trainers t-shirt and um, maybe a hoodie over it i actually really like them like i say not together um but i'm struggling to make outfits out of what i bought um but i really like these trousers it's a good start for a pair of trousers i like that they are a straight leg as opposed to nipping in at the bottom because the other two pairs of trousers not the jeans nip in at the bottom and i'm not so sure about that um the only problem is the color green this green color this sort of army green color is not a color that i would um usually go for um but the nice thick trousers and I think I could wear these even in the winter, even though they are quite um, a sort of cottony uh, feel to them. They're thick enough to be able to get away with in the winter. Probably, like I say, wear them with a pair of chunky trainers, little t-shirt, hoodie. So um, I'm actually quite surprised how much I like these. Like I say, not together, but I do like both of them. This is more going out, out. This is more daytime. But I'll try some of the other things on. This might be where it all goes downhill. Okay. <laughs> no. I think that is a no from me. I like this the shape of the jumper. I don't even mind the size of it. To say it's a small, sort of 8 to 10. I don't even mind the size of it. But I absolutely hate this pattern on me. I absolutely hate it. I just think it does not for me at all. Um, and similarly, the trousers make me feel like I'm joined almost down to my knees. You know, I want to, all right. So, um, my ex-husband used to wear stuff like, with that zipped off. Do you know what I mean? Like those trousers where you could zip them off and make shorts these vaguely remind me of that and that is not a look that i want to be going for so for all i like the shape of this jumper the thickness of it the quality of it is really nice i can't stand it because this pattern's just too much for me and the trousers just on that one reference alone and there's no pockets um is enough for me to say a no i don't like the cuffs at the bottom didn't realize they had those this is what happens when you go out shopping slightly inebriated on Christmas Eve. This is why I think sometimes people get Christmas presents so wrong is when they've gone out to the pub on Christmas Eve and then done all the Christmas shopping on the afternoon. That's you, you know who you are, right? Okay, I've met people like that. Um, this to me suggests the time I once got bought a hat, right? Like um, a full on hat. It looked like it should have a feather sticking up in it. You know what I mean? By um, a partner. Uh, so these are an absolute out and out no. I'll show you the back just in case you needed any further convincing. Tell you what, this jumper's really warm. If you can make this work for you, it's a nice jumper. But it just does not work for me. So I'll try some of the other things on. Eek. Okay, I actually don't mind these. Right, all right, they've got elastic around the bottom and they are incredibly cropped on me. Um, you know, and they're riding up a little bit because they're so cropped. But they fit me fine around the top, absolutely fine. To say these are 12. Get in, they are, right? And I actually quite like them with the burgundy. 
you know it's not the most sort of classic outfit that i would ever wear but you know as a casual little outfit don't mind it at all this little top gives me a little bit extra fabric around here because even though it fits me around the top i always have this little bulge thing at the front here right i've got a hernia so it's not it helps by that but it is fat um you know that's stuck there you know it's just middle age spread isn't it but i actually don't mind this little outfit you know like the colors together love this navy with the burgundy quite like the um because this is short sleeved i don't mind how high it is on the neck um and i don't mind these trousers at all you know if i lose that bit extra weight they're only going to get better and i think they're absolute bargains I don't have a lot of navy, you know. I'm actually really pleased with this outfit. When I pulled it together and I was trying to put it on, I was thinking, yeah, that's not going to work for me. But I think, it, I think it actually does. It's an okay outfit. You know, it is an okay outfit. Don't mind it at all. And especially for the price. I'll show you the back. So, yeah, don't mind this at all. Very pleasantly surprised with it. Yeah, very pleasantly surprised with it. I like it with my pink eyeshadow as well. You know what I mean? The burgundy with pink eyeshadow, that's all right. Um, yeah, like these a lot. So I'm going to try the jeans on and I've got two tops left. One of which I don't even know is a, whether it's a pyjama top. But I'm going to try the jeans on which are incredibly rigid. And even though they're a 14, I'm not sure they're going to fit me. But we'll see. I'll try them on. But this has been my favourite outfit so far by far okay but let me know what you think does this look ridiculous that it's you know sort of cropped on my leg you know and what shoes would I wear with it that's there's the question but um I'm sure I'd find somewhere I'm not short of shoes you know what I mean <laughs> right I'll try the last one on okay first these don't go together and second off both are too small for me the jeans feel like they are absolutely digging right in round the top here not attractive at all so for all i like the legs on them because i do like a wide leg they're just too small for me you know they are just too small and this top similarly like it but it is just too small it feels like it's pulling really badly at the front um yeah these are not from me um you know if they fit me that might be a different matter but i you know I, I don't love them enough to go out and find them in a, in a bigger size, you know. I really don't. They definitely didn't have bigger sizes at my Asda, so I'd have to go to one in another town. I don't like them enough to be bothered to do that. So, sadly, I think these are going back, you know. This is really pretty. I love the colour on it. Love this broad triangle around the front. But like I say, it's pulling. You can see it pulling across here. So, too small, too small, absolute no from me. Um, I'm going to try the last top on. Please give me some advice. Is it a pyjama top? I'll keep these jeans on and you better see even more how much this is sort of the digging in here. But I'm going to try that on and please let me know whether you think it's a pyjama top or not. Okay, I'll try it on. Okay, I think this is a pyjama top. Okay, I do. But I actually really love it. Okay, I could imagine wearing this, even though it is a pyjama top, I think, um, with a black cardi over it, sort of buttons here. Um, and I think it'd be really nice. But do I dare go out of the house in it? There's the question. I like the size of it. You know, it's a pyjama top. It's lovely. Really nice. It just reminds me of 90s that I bought from Asda before which is what makes me think it is pyjama top. But I do love it, you know, I love the colours on it. It's so nice. It's really, really nice. So, um, yeah, dare I wear it as a t-shirt with a cardi over? That's the question, you know. I mean, I go out sporting this face and it, very often wearing clothes that nobody else would put together. So I don't know why I'm even worried um you know I, do, I honestly don't but there is a bit of me that thinks is all are all my neighbors going to be going why should come out in the pajamas you know but anyway that's all my clothes from asda not bad for a drunk shopping trip 
Hiya. So, sorry, I look a bit like I've been pulled through a bush now after trying all the clothes on. But anyway, right, these are my views. Although you've probably had my views already. But anyway, this, I really like it. Mm, but um, I'm going to be too embarrassed to go out of the house in it. Um, <laughs> I honestly don't know about that one. Please give me some advice. These jeans cutting the circulation off to the lower half of my body. So that's a big fat no from big fat me. Okay. Uh, this top, similarly, too small on me. Not a chance. Can't wear that. It just were pulling so badly across the front. So that's a no. Um, this jumper, not a chance. Right. This style does not suit me at all. It's the pattern on it. Not the style of the jumper. Not the size of the jumper even. And not the sleeves, just the pattern. Right, that's a no from me. I can't make that work for me. I wouldn't know what to put with it, you know what I mean? So, no chance. These, no. Right, <laughs> absolutely no. They remind me of the XO spent. Right, so on that basis alone, no. Right, this pair, um, I quite like these. It, the only problem is this green colour. I'm not sure about the green colour, so probably going to need some advice on those. Really love these navy ones, but are they too short in the leg? That's the question. But I do like them. So they might be my favourite trousers that I tried on, so I like those. Um, this little pyjama top, I think that's going back, because I only need one pyjama top for that pair of pyjama bottoms. And I prefer the other one, even though this matches better. I like the oversizedness. Is that a word? The oversized nature of the other one, right? This blouse, black blouse with the little buttons on. Love that. Think that's a bargain. How much were it? Oh, it was £7. Is it a bargain at £7? Am I going to be able to find some as nice or nicer for £7? So I probably need some advice on that, even though I quite like the look of that. Um, love this one. Really, really love it. Stunned by how much I love it. £5 that one. I liked that the frill over the shoulder made me look a bit more square shouldered because it's a drawback of getting older is that you tend to, you can look a bit droopy shouldered. But this little frill thing over the shoulder made me feel a bit more sort of, you know, upright. A bit, a bit less old, I suppose, right? And these pyjamas, I'm going to keep these. These are bargains, right? The top is £6. The bottom, I think, is even cheaper than that. The bottom's a fiver. Um, although, £11 for a pair of pyjamas. Let's think about this. How much are they at Primark? Although they are nice quality ones. May keep those just because I've got them now. Do you know what I mean? I've got them. And I can see me on a snowy night, right? I've come on from work, freezing cold. Get myself a bath. Get out the bath. Put these on and my dressing gown over the top. When I get into bed and I have to take my dressing gown off, I'm not going to be frozen. Because this flat's not the warmest flat. So I think I may keep those. I'm going to cross my legs. Just on the basis, I've got them now. And I think the bad weather is only going to get worse at this point. I think I'll be glad of them when it snows again. But not bad to say it were a slightly inebriated trip to Asda. I'm saying it's slightly inebriated. I had had a sherry, but still, it don't give you the best sort of uh, judgment necessarily when you've had something to drink and then you go out shopping. Although I think it's a fun concept. I may do it again. You know what I mean? On purpose this time. Let's maybe go out with one of my daughters, have a couple of drinks, go around a few shops. I think it might be a good laugh. But anyway, that's everything for today. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. I've left all my contact details in the description box in case you want to contact me for any reason. And I'll also link Asda, Georgia Asda, whatever we're calling it these days. But, you know, Asda clothing in that description box as well. They're not sponsoring this. This is just my madness, you know. But um, And I'm also, I've got to tell you, in the new year, I'll be getting my new PO box. So I'm super excited about that. So look out for that coming up. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye!